dear students in our previous class we have discussed about non impact printer and its characteristics but now in our today's class we are going to discuss about each printer in detail that the types of impact printers and the types of non impact printers one by one individually first come to the live printers see live printers are high speed printers they are very high speed printers capable of printing an entire entire line at a time okay they can print the complete line in one strike okay so much speed these printers are having and next a line printer can print to clear now a line printer can print 150 lines to 3000 lines i think it is not 300 lines it is 3000 lines yes this is not 300 lines this is 3000 lines 150 lines to 3000 lines per minute in one minute it can print 150 lines to 3000 lines understood so much speed these printers are the limitations of line printer are some drawbacks are okay they can print only one font font means text style okay so these printers can print just one font okay these line printers cannot be able to print more than one font one type only one type of letters they can able to print this is one problem they cannot print graphics graphics means they cannot print any images okay and then the printer quality the print quality is low the quality of print it means the text which is printed on the paper it is very light not dark understood so the quality of print is low and they are noisy to operate they produce noise while they strike on the ribbon they will produce noise they are noisy these are the drawbacks of line but it can print large volume of text data very fast okay large volume of text is means only this what i have written this is text if i draw something then that will become an image of graphic but now what i have written this is called text so like this type of data only text data can print very fast compared to other printers okay and then it is also used to print on multi part stationery multi part stationery means if it is printing on the top of one paper if we keep carbon below it and below the carbon if we keep one more sheet then when it print on the first paper then the same thing will be copied to the sheet or paper which is present below the carbon sheet this is called multi part stationery to prepare copies of a document okay if one <coughs> sheet is printed on its front if you keep keep two to three sheets okay by keeping a carbon sheet in between the sheet in between the papers then it will print on all the papers it means the image will be produced by pressing the carbon sheets on the paper this is how the line printers will work the next type of a printer is the dot matrix printer here see the most popular serial printer serial printer means a serial core which is especially made for connecting printers and the printer which is connected to that serial port will be called as a serial printer don't get confused okay serial printer is the dot matrix printer the most popular serial printer is the dot matrix print and then it prints one line of 8 to 14 points at a time Okay, it can print a line of 8 to 
14 points at a time with the printhead moving across a line. The same thing which I have explained, the printhead moving across a line. And then they are similar to typewriters. You have seen the typewriters, okay, which are used to do typing. Okay, in the same way, these dot matrix printer will work. They are normally slow. The speed is very low. And then the printing speed is around 300 characters per second. Around 300 letters per second. Hope you have understood. And the last point, it uses multi-part station lanes to prepare copies of a document. The same thing what I have said, using carbon sheets. Okay, we can able to print number of copies at a time by using the dot matrix printers. The next type of a printer is <coughs> the thermal printer. Come, we shall see how it works. Thermal printers are the printers, okay, that produce images. How they will produce images? By pushing electrically heated pins. By pushing electrically heated pins against special heat sensitive paper. A heat sensitive paper will be used in the thermal printers. The pins which are present in the thermal printer are get heated electrically. And they will produce an image. It means they will produce a print on the paper and the paper is of the type special heat sensitive paper. They are expensive and used by the fast machines and calculators. They are very expensive and they are used by the fax machines and calculators and then thermal printer paper tends to darken after few days the thermal printer paper will become dark will be dark over time how the time goes the paper color will become dark and dark because due to exposure to sunlight and heat if the paper is exposed to sunlight or to heat the paper of thermal printer the color of that paper will become darker and dark, darker day by day time by time then the printed matrix on the paper fade fade means become light okay after a week or two after a week or two weeks the matrix which is printed on the paper will be fade fade means going to be erased okay and then because due to sunlight exposure to sunlight and heat and last time it also produces a poor quality print low quality printing matters are prepared by the thermal printers okay if you have any doubts regarding today's class you can ask me personally thank you